Good morning, everyone. This is Michael O'Malley here with the Hurricane Out Wakanda discussion for October 15th, 2020, recorded around 1023 a.m. Eastern Time. Well, taking a wide look across the tropics right now, we do have a couple of things going on this morning. And uh, first, we'll start here across uh, just to the east of the Lesser Antilles with Invest Area 93L, an area of disturbed weather which has been producing some disorganized showers and thunderstorms over the last several days. This at one point looked like it was going to try to develop into a tropical cyclone, uh, but has now since uh, kind of faded that appearance and taking on more of a sheared characteristic. This is generally moving off towards the west-northwest, and again, this will approach uh, the northern bit of the islands uh, over the coming days, and uh, eventually then into Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic. So this is going to be a pretty big deal, uh, even down the road, as this will continue to produce showers and thunderstorms that can lead, of course, to you know flash flooding potential. There is a flash flood watch for portions of Puerto Rico. Uh, from that. So again, this is all in response from this tropical wave that's going to be moving through. So just be mindful of it. Uh, not something to be scared about or anything, but just be mindful that this is going to cause the potential for some flash flooding concerns down the road. And that's something that we're going to have to watch pretty diligently as we move forth with time. We're also watching a couple of other areas, first of all, in the southwestern Caribbean right now. This is an area of disturbed weather that is expected to generate an area of low pressure over the next few days, while this generally meanders around uh, kind of near South America and eventually be lifting northward into the central and northwestern Caribbean. After that time, it remains to be seen where this is going to go, and a lot of factors are going to play into that, which we'll talk about here in a moment. And then we're also watching an area over the subtropical Atlantic right now with a chance of development, and we can see that from the National Hurricane Center homepage here again. 93L really with a 0% chance of development because of strong upper-level wind. We are also watching this area here and another area in the southwestern Atlantic. So we are watching a couple of areas right now of disturbed weather. Uh, you know, at least one of these will probably uh, end up being getting a named storm at some point in time. If we look here at Invest Area 93L, again, you can really see there's not much of a surface vortex anymore uh, with it. Uh, maybe a little bit of a vortex structure that might be evident somewhere in here after passing through the Lesser Antilles. Uh, but that remains kind of a big question. Not really any thunderstorm, you know, not really a lot of thunderstorms in association with it. And you can see a lot of the sheared, you know, storms are still to the east of the Lesser Antilles right now. That's the island of Barbados right there. So, again, not really seeing a significant concern, but some disorganized showers and thunderstorms could roll through that area. And again, you know, if you get on, under any of these thunderstorms, a quick one to two inches of rain, gusty winds, you know, upwards of, you know, 45 to 50 miles per hour, certainly a possibility and that remains a substantial concern uh, going forth uh, with time. And, and, of course, then there is the island right there of Puerto Rico. So still there will be impacts, but certainly not uh, a lot of significant high-end uh, impact expected. Now, if we look here on the GFS forecast, this is the 850 vorticity map. The spin in the atmosphere about 5,000 feet off the ground. And for context, you get into these higher and, and darker reds here. That is your stronger cyclonic spin at the 5,000 foot level. Uh, a couple of things to point out here. Again, this is the energy associated here with Invest Area 93L. Again, pretty much just an open wave at this point. Uh, a short wave trough, uh, you know, short wave trough energy moving through the Texas and Oklahoma area right now. This will be then moving off towards the north and or this will be moving off towards basically the north and west or north and east with time. This will be moving towards the north and west with time. We'll go ahead and kind of move this forward here and we can see that what we start to get is in the southwestern Atlantic. We kind of get a cutoff low to form. This is an upper level low at this point and could end up generating a surface vortex. And if it does that over pretty warm water still, it does have a chance for some slight development over the next few days. That's why the Hurricane Center did highlight that. 
Now, because of the strong ridge, this will be propagating off towards the south and west here. So this does at least need to bear watching over the next couple of days as this will be moving uh, towards the south and west and in the general direction of, uh, you know, the southwestern Atlantic over the next few days. Then we can also start to see here what's coming into the Caribbean with a piling up of the moisture down here. For a better representation, look at that. We'll head off to the GFS 700 to 400 millibar relative humidity product here. And again, what you're really looking at right now, very dry air right now over much of the southeast United States, much over Florida. This has kept a pretty decent amount of storms away from the coast uh, of course we've been down here uh, along the coastline over the past couple of days and um, you know it's been a, a pretty gorgeous time down here but we can clearly see that moisture is starting to increase out here in the southwestern Atlantic we we'll move this forward now with time again this is going we're going to be getting kind of a reinforcing shot here of dry air in the mid levels uh, but then eventually with time you'll, you'll start to notice what, what happens is we get this vortex to form in the southwestern Atlantic Basin. This is 132 hours out from now. Uh, of course, this is wrapping around. Uh, so some pretty dry air in the face of what's going on up here. But you notice what is coming down here is we have this piling up of moisture down here in the Caribbean. And this piling up of the moisture could lead to some isolated thunderstorms developing down in that region. So a couple of things we're going to have to monitor as time goes on. Of course, I will have a full update later this afternoon.